how high in the air are these guys? This looks like great fun and only slightly terrifying. Ah! I want to do it. How has Charles hacked this slip and slide with such amazing results? Charles's slip and slide works by taking a piece of plastic and placing it on a hill and then flowing water over the top of it. The water acts as a lubricating layer, so Charles slides down the thing instead of sticking to it. To get the maximum airtime, the riders must leave the takeoff ramp at 45 degrees going as fast as possible. Now, the natural slope of this riverbank means that the riders would be only traveling at 30 miles an hour or 48 kilometers an hour. And this wasn't deemed fast enough for the slip and slide to be truly epic. And so what he's done is added a motorized pole mechanism, which is literally a rope hooked up to the front of a car tire, which spools the rope up and pulls them down the slope and then launches them off the ramp. Now, the trick is that this car has a differential. When you fix one of the tires, the other tire will spin freely. And they've used this to their advantage here. By lifting the pulley wheel off the ground, but keeping the other three wheels locked on the ground, the pulley wheel is easier to turn. Therefore, it gets all the force from the engine. With the gas fully applied, the rider are yanked down the ramp as quickly as possible. So one small step on the accelerator equals one giant leap for mankind.